Hey everybody, this is Ten Plated. I'm Rob. I'm Sean, and we're back in Anorlando. Woohoo! Um, that little doll we got talked about it drawing you into a painted world, and we remembered that there was a painting here in Anorlando that we couldn't interact with for some reason. Big fucking painting. So we put two and seven together and got 14. Like you do. Multiplication, yeah. Impressive. But, um, you know, something about jumping into paintings just makes me think of Super Mario 64. Best fucking game. Pretty good. The, uh, the DS port of it was also pretty good. Oh. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I played some handheld gaming, like everybody. A little bit of Pokemon, uh... <laughs> Play with your hand. Damn right. Nobody else will. Anyway. Uh, you know, I had Mega Man on my original Game Boy, and that was like the balls. But I never really got into the DS and the 3DS and the, all of that. Oh, I guess we can put away our uh, Skull Lantern and switch back to the Talisman. Yeah, I reckon so. Everything seems pretty well lit here. Yeah. Despite the perpetual sunset. Yeah. Or sunrise. We really can't tell. Because even though we have binoculars, we don't have a compass. Hilariously bad binoculars. Yeah, I mean, they're binoculars in the sense that this is also binoculars. Uh, did that lead to the church? Yeah. Yep, I can see it clearly. I'm going to have to murder some more clansmen again. Pretty sure it's just at the end of this hallway, ain't it? Yeah, it's right there. Why don't you just speed run them and jump into it? Because if that doesn't work, then I have to fight all of them at once. Which will be awesome to watch. No, it'll just mean we have to run this whole distance again. I got nothing better to do. That's nice. Oh, act like you do. I occasionally have something approaching a life, yes. Definitely liking this sword. Now that, you know, things stay dead when we kill them. Oh, yeah. Um, just to catch you guys up on the shit that was too boring to show you, um, spent the entirety of the 60,000 we picked up killing um, Nito on Titanite and weapon upgrades. Yep. This sword is now what? Plus four? Uh, I think. And our club is six or seven. Seven. So, I think our axe got upgraded once. Yep. It is now divine plus one because while faith hasn't been a uh, hasn't been a great need for us, you know what? it came in so handy in a clinch. You can't just yeah you can't just throw it aside. It definitely earned its spot when it was sucking souls out of skulls. Yep. Also, dibs on that for a punk band name. More metal than punk. See, I think of it as one of those punk names where they, the name's not appropriate because they're not nearly as hard as their name is. You know what I'm saying? Still, m more metal than punk. A shitty poser metal band, maybe. Well, I'll give you that. I thought that's what punk was. Wow. Wow. Yeah, come at me, punk nerds. What up? So you're a, you're a metal fan, huh? I like a little metal. I like a little what used to be punk, not what this shit they make now that's just bullet for my valentine warmed up. Bullet for my valentine never was punk. No, but all the punk bands today sound like them. They're not punk bands. There's pop punk, which is entirely different. They ain't punk. Punk bands are punk bands. I like how we just ignored the knife sticking out of your fucking face. Well, why would that be a concern? I don't know. It just looked cool. Nah. We're good. It's just a piercing. We're talking about punk and metal. And... So, uh, so she decided to get a piercing. 
Hey, I forget your character's a woman. It's weird because most of the other sound effects are pretty female, but the death is still... Uh, which sounds like a guy experiencing le petit mort. That's the little death, or orgasm, for those of you that don't speak French. Yeah, something's happening. You don't fucking say. Is this where Phantom Ganon comes out and we have to fight him? Because this really is nothing but a, a cheap remake of The Legend of Zelda? Really? Huh. Well, that was kind of cool. I guess we're going to a snowy mountain. Well, that doesn't go anywhere. Painted world of Ariamis. Huh. Good fucking painting. Yeah, I guess. You ever been drawn in by a painting? Metaphorically. Yeah, we ain't talking metaphorically. What is that? Uh, that would be a guy on a pike. Three guys. Little of that Vlad Tepish shit up in here. Huh. And there's a bonfire. Despair ahead. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. Well, let's go ahead and take a little rest. Do you have any humanity? Uh, I do. Why don't we kindle this? It seems like we might be spending a little time here. Uh, because I don't want to kindle it until we get back to it, because we don't have much humanity. And if we find another one that we don't have too much trouble getting to, then gotcha. we'll wish we had it then. Gotcha. We are not replete with humanity. Okay, I'm seeing red hollows. Uh, that do a lot more damage than former Red Hollows. He still took a chunk out of you. They're painted Red Hollows, obviously. Apparently. Damn nice greatsword. Would you say it's great? Very good. Does not open from this side. Well, then why give us the option, you asshole? It should have said examine, not open. Right. Smash those barrels. How do I get that? You smash those barrels. Now, how would smashing those barrels drop that guy? You'll see. I'll see. In the fullness of time, it'll make sense. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, I was expecting stairs or something down right there. Right there. So there's nothing down there. Well, it's a painting. There's not a lot of depth here. This is pretty deep for a painting. Yeah. So. Some sort of crow? Oh, archer. Yeah, I'd say so. Maybe it's just me, but I have never considered photographers to be artists. Like, painters are artists. They have a, a talent and a skill that requires hard work. Looking through a camera and going click, that's not... That's also not photography. That's taking a picture. Photography is about balancing and framing light levels, managing uh, your f-stops, your shutter speeds. There's a lot more that goes into photography than pointing a camera. Choosing different lenses. Uh-huh. And once again, we see the continued tradition of, if Rob doesn't understand it, it's stupid. Oh, what the fuck is that? Uh, some sort of hollow spitting fire. Yeah, look at it, though. Jesus. Hmm. Those, the things from Halo, what are they? God, the swarm? Swarm, it looks like that. Or the flood, the flood. The flood, yeah. It also the... looks like the kind of zombie things Holy from God. The Last of Us. I, I guess? I haven't played The Last of Us. I don't have a, I don't have a PS3. Great game. Toxic! Oh, fuck. Uh, do we have a blooming? Yeah, we have one. one. Well, you know we're gonna have that to be careful for. Yep. Uh, I don't know what's in here. But yeah, Last of Us, great game. It's got that storytelling that really just fucking reaches out and grabs you. Like, with me, if we're playing a game and you give me either a little kid or a dog to, like, be have a companion or be responsible for, I'm fucking sold. That's it. Ride or die, me and that kid or that dog are it. So you like escort missions? Ooh. 
Are those pigs? No, that was some sort of albino rat. Humanity. Don't think of it as an escort mission. It's a snow rat. It's not albino. Also, I think that body dropped some humanity. Anyway, good. don't think of it as an escort mission. Think of it as just having a companion. Like the Daxter to my Jack, or the Ratchet to my... Or the Clank to my Ratchet. Well, I guess that's relevant in Last of Us, where she does stuff, but there's plenty where you're escorting someone, and they're just this incompetent, bad AI. Right. Very rarely are they a dog or a child. I'm speaking more about a companion in the story who maybe doesn't even have a huge role in the game, uh, but I'm fucking sold. Yeah, I'm gonna... We are gonna go hell and back if there's a dog or a kid involved. So you were a, uh, a fan of Ico? Yeah, Ico was solid. What about the sequel? Did you play Shadow of the Colossus? I guess it's not... I'm sorry. Totally a sequel? Is the Pope Catholic? It's the spiritual... Why, yes, the Holy Father is Catholic. Ha <laughs> ha. Somebody's heard my That's New Orleans... That's a callback. Somebody's heard my well, New Orleans joke. Fuck. We're toxin. Yep. And there's nothing we can do about it. And there's more of them coming. John heard the New Orleans joke. Very nice. But no. Uh, yeah, I played Shadow of the Colossus. That shit was the tits. Oh, shit. So when they die, they explode into toxin. Which we are not equipped to deal with. You don't really, yeah. That's going to be problematic. I say try and cover as much ground as you can, kill everything you can kill, and yep. go to your hear glass. But yeah, I played Ico, liked it, played Shadow of the Colossus, fucking loved it. Uh, you know, not really oh, a- that sword went right through him. Yeah. Bullshit. Not really a sequel, more of a spiritual successor. Valid. Uh, valid statement. But, and the horse in Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah. Uh, I didn't aggro. like. Yeah, I didn't like nothing hurting my horse. I don't like uh, in Legend of Zelda. I would get off Epona mm -hmm. and then go into battle. Can't be having nothing happen to Epona. My God, there's just so much stuff around here that I can't quite figure out how to get to. Well, remember the items on the bridge back in Undeadburg? Yeah. That if you went for them, a dragon cooked you. Yeah. The same people that designed that, designed this, so keep that in mind. Plus it's probably just soul of a blank blank. Right. Soul of an adjective noun. Oh my! Mad libs. Okay, so this goes down here. Now what about that bridge? Did we already cross it? No. This place is super confusing. We, we have not crossed that bridge yet. We will cross that bridge when we come to it. Ah! ah, ah holy ah, shit! Ah! Ah! ah. <gasps> Harpy? Slenderman's bitch? Yep, Harpy. Nice ass, though. Fog gate. Go get him. I'm gonna guess this isn't a boss fog gate. I'm gonna guess this is a uh, division gate. You know, I'm thinking mini boss. Probably not the reason for the level, but. Maybe somebody. Guess we'll find out. And... Transition gate. Dissolved, yep. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, oh. What you make of that? Somebody likes celebrating their victory. Spartans! What the shit? That would be a phalanx. Spartans! What is your profession? <gasps> Holy <gasps> crap, that's a lot of them. Hey, uh, you got fireball? Uh, no, we brought combustion, remember? Okay, combustion, whatever it takes. Holy shit, they're coming. Look at them, they're even more swollen. Okay, when they throw their spears, they pull another one out of their body. Yep. Yeah, maybe not fire against them as it happens. Huh. Um... Missed! Oh, and everything's lagging to shit. That did some some real damage. 
47. Well, that was because I hit the shield. Right. But not hitting a shield uh, looks like it's going to be a tall fucking order. Okay, well, let's... Didn't do anything. Wasn't in range. Twenty-six and one seventy-eight. Okay. No. Holy shit! All of this while still toxic. Yep. He also makes julienne fries. Ah oh, shit! Just keep running up, setting a fire, walking away. Running up, setting a fire, walking away. Not gonna keep doing that though, cause this is my last fire. Yeah, Pyro. Ugh. Meet the Pyro. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. It's in there and ha! Did you ever play Team Fortress 2, Sean? Played it quite a bit. Never got any good at it, but did play it a lot. Who, uh, who was your go-to? Uh. Pretty damn good at the medic. I could see that. Um, other than that, uh, go to the pyro. The pyro does have a little purse. Uh, Can you guess who I played as? Uh, the soldier or the heavy weapons guy? The heavy. Because Samvich. But, but. He's Soviet. And no. communism. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Nah. Where is he from? Oh, he's Russian. Where does the game take place? Or what year does the game take place? No clue. It's in the 60s. Oh, is it? Yeah. He's, he's Soviet. A, but he defected. No, he didn't. He has a job. Yeah. He didn't defect. He just works there. Yeah, why would he work there if he was a Soviet? He'd work for the state. Perhaps he does. But no. why? There's a guy from Brooklyn that works there. Yeah? Maybe he defected. Not a chance. Really? Yep. The scout's not smart enough to defect. He's not smart enough to realize he defected. How fucking many of them are there? My god! Uh, a bunch. I don't know if you noticed that. There's my last flask. Uh, I'll bet you anything these guys don't stay dead. Oh, not a chance. You got any heal on you? Used already. Oh, goodbye, Sean. Yeah. Oh, that's a shit. <laughs> okay, that'll play. Yeah, unless there's a bonfire right past him, though, it's all going to be for nothing. Come on, there's just two left. Yeah, and I have no heal and I'm still toxic. Well, I'm not saying it's not a tough nut. I'm just saying there's only two left. Uh, I don't think it matters at this point. I'll die before I kill them even if they don't hit me. No. Nope. Well, the toxic is gone. Bunch of bur birds. So how the fuck do we get past all of those? I'd say you just repeat what you just did, but don't be toxic. Yeah, that might work. So you picked up one more humanity. Do you want to uh, kindle? Yeah, I think this is worth kindling. So let's... Can only kindle it once. Let's go for it. Because five flasks certainly isn't going to fucking cut it. No, not at all. Ten might not even... Versus hollowing. Oh, damn it. Oh, things are getting fucking laggy here. And Kindle. Alright. Y'all right there? You can take a little stretch break? Y'all right? For the fans, I'm gonna tough this one out. 
Hey, you're human. There's a summon sign. Yeah. What? What's the hurt? In trying it. Because uh, uh, we have not received a positive response thus so thus far about us using summon signs. That's true. People do hate it. Which I mean, you'd think since there's two of us, they wouldn't mind, you know. Um, what was I about to? Oh, well, there we go. By the way, I didn't back out of that menu, so I'm sure you all know what's about to happen. I don't. Uh, what happens when you can't use the bonfire while you're human? Aw, oh, fuck. Really? Yeah. Yep. And you just know whatever m motherfucker is posted up here in the painted world is some sort of chief ass beater. Mm -hmm. You just know it. There ain't no noob working here. Yeah. Boom! Two with one swing. Boom! Got him on the bounce. Might need me a shot of Jackie D. Not to be confused with a shot of Jackie O. <laughs> you in the 60s. Ah! Oh, not enough to kill him one handed. One year for uh, Christmas, a get buddy, away, get away. A buddy of mine took me to the Jack Daniels Distillery, mm -hmm. and they got this um, little creek out behind it, and it's where the it's. Oh come on! I didn't even have a chance to do anything about that. What fucking bullshit? How are we supposed to do this? Try the halberd. Strike him from further away. Well, it doesn't do us any fucking good now. Oh no, you're you're toast now. Fuck it, let's just see how far we can get. Alright. Anyway, so they got this creek back there, and this is the creek that supplies all the super pure water straight from the aquifer for uh see, told you that would fall eventually. That's not the same courtyard. See? There's that phalanx. Oh yeah. Anyway, it's the where they get the super pure water that they make Jack Daniels with. And I'm sitting there going, so this is proto Jack Daniels. Like the shit out of that. So the tour kind of moseys on, and I go back to this creek, and I, I take a knee there, and I'm like, you know, drinking yeah. this water. And uh, Craig, my buddy, is laughing his ass off. And I'm like, what is so fucking funny? And he goes, did you ever see Willy Wonka? Yeah. You remember the first kid to die? Yeah, Augustus Gloop. He drowned when he was drinking the chocolate riv. Fuck you, Craig. And just walked off to rejoin the tour. <sighs> All right, let's see. What oh, look, a bridge with items on it. I'm going to get set on fire by whatever the fuck that is in the distance all blurry and shit. Nah, keep going. You're going to die anyway. Oh, this is cool as shit. What is it? What is it? How big is it? It's a dragon! Blood shield, that's cool. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! That was awesome! Well, um... I, I guess on that note, uh, let's go ahead and stop here and re recollect our thoughts, re reconfigure our equipment, and we'll, we'll uh, see you guys again short shortly. Bye, guys. God damn, that thing was big. And scary, man.